We recently marked the anniversary of that day in March 2020, when we began our long sojourn under COVID. Like everyone, I remember very well what my preoccupations were around that time. Rather quaintly, I recall being very exercised about whether we'd have enough hand sanitizer. It seems now, in retrospect, an important but small consideration given the scale of what would soon happen. Then as the pandemic began to take hold, the more serious questions such as how we would bring home our students who were in foreign destinations. And then, of course, we moved into the, the full year of remote teaching and learning. I think there's a great deal to be proud of in the year that has just passed, that we managed to ensure our students completed their academic courses in that first year successfully. That is important and that we also embarked on the current academic year under COVID as effectively as we did. A great deal to be proud of in all of that. I also do recognize that that success came at a cost to the members of our community. And here I'm thinking of those of our colleagues who continued to work, who came to campus throughout the pandemic, and others who worked on the front line during that time. And even if you weren't working on the front line or weren't on campus, there were other complications. And I think it really is important to recognize uh, that there was an extraordinary strain placed on all members of our community by virtue of that blurring of the boundary between the workplace and home. And those of us who have home responsibilities, children or elders to care for, uh, I'm, I know had great challenges throughout the year balancing those things. And that to some extent continues. We're still in COVID. We're still subject to restrictions. However, we're a bit different now in the sense that we can see some light at the end of the tunnel. And because of the vaccine, there is an expectation that things will return to normal. That's an exciting moment. So while we acknowledge all that has been achieved and the cost of that uh, to every member of the community, I want to say I look forward to the year ahead and beyond that, in which this community, which demonstrated its solidarity and its strength so effectively in the face of COVID, will continue to achieve great things. We're still under some shadow, but the road ahead is bright, light, and I'm full of expectation for the successes that will come to Queen's and to all members of our community in the future. Thank you very much for all you did and will continue to do.